I notice a lot of my videos are being filmed right here. Uh, this is the time of year where my work, we work a crazy amount of hours. I mean, not super crazy. I used to work way more in a factory, but so I am not off of my actual job until Christmas Eve. So we are working a ton and I'm going to be not really able to have time to go to the range and stuff like that right now. But I did want to make a video because it's something that a lot of people have been talking about and that's the ATF going after polymer 80 and braces and things like that. And I kind of wanted to discuss some of it. And uh, so we're just going to go ahead and dive into it. So polymer 80, from what I have gathered, now I haven't researched this a ton, they are targeting the buy build shoot kit. So that's the one that comes with the frame. Um, it comes with the slide barrel, pretty much everything for the most part that you would need, except for, you know, some of the tools that you would need, but it comes with the bits that you need. So that apparently is the kit that they're coming after. Supposedly they have targeted some people that are the actual purchasers, like the owners. Um, but they mainly targeted the manufacturer getting paperwork and stuff like that. And so <clears throat> take that you know how you want to but it seems like as of right now as long as you haven't purchased the buy build shoot kit you probably won't be getting any visits from uh the atf or anything like the nfa any of that stuff i guess you'd get the visit from the atf and then the but the issue is supposedly not really so much the atf is it's coming from the nfa and the atf is acting on their decisions something like that so I guess I haven't done a ton of research on that part, but that is kind of like uh, an update to what the ATF is doing about the 80% or the polymer 80 specifically. Um, but as far as braces go, and this is why I want to make this video because this, this has nothing to do with the giveaway. The giveaway will still happen regardless because the MCK is not a NFA style item, even if this were to pass through unless you were to insert a Glock into it. And the kit that I am sending doesn't have a Glock with it, so you're just getting a piece of plastic. So as far as I'm aware, even if they were to pass this stuff through, it wouldn't affect it at all. Now, from what I've gathered, so kind of some details on it, it's more or less they're saying that they are bringing more clarity is basically what they're trying to say that they're doing they're going to reword it to where it's more understandable of what they mean so what they're trying to say is they are revising the way that it is described because there were too many loopholes and they felt like they needed to be a little bit more particular about the way that they're wording things things such as the braces weren't uh, the way that they originally worded them, they didn't really, is more or less, you know, you could have a full-on stock with a strap through it and call it a brace. And I'm not here to say whether it's right or wrong. I think all gun laws are infringements, but so basically what they're trying to say is some braces, they're retractable and stuff like that. Things, things of that nature. Those are more like stocks in their eyes how much materials on the back of them and stuff that would rest up against like, you know, your, your shoulder, things like that. And is the brace that, or the kit, like say you got an AR pistol, is it too heavy that it's really not designed to be function from one arm? That's something that they are kind of going after the type of optic that it can support. If it's not an optic that was designed more for, a one-handed shooting style and more designed towards propping it up and looking through it that that would be considered you know an NFA item and so there's a bunch of things like that there's I'm trying to remember everything else that they said anything that like offers a foregrip style those would be not designed for one-handed shooting things like that so some of their wordings and then the weight. They don't get specific with the weight. They say if it is too heavy to be operated from one hand. Well, the problem is, is different people have what's too heavy for them. I know some very built people that could 
one-handed really just about anything with no issues so it's still kind of vague but they're being more specific more or less they're adding more rules to it to disqualify certain items from being able to be considered a pistol to make them be SBRs. Unfortunately, based off the wording from what I gathered, the MCK eventually will fall into line with that. You can either send it off or let them turn it in, whatever, you know, the one that nobody absolutely wants to do. And, or you can file the tax stamp for it, the $200 tax stamp, but they're going to supposedly waive the fee. Now, one of those things is, you know, more or less, yeah, they're, it seems like they're trying to be able to track down whose firearms and basically form a registration, in my opinion. However, I still kind of think for the most part, if, if you've purchased your own Glock that you put in there and they kind of know you have it, so I don't know, I don't know. I haven't decided whether I would take the option to make it an SPR without paying the $200 tax stamp because then I can throw a brace on it. Or not a brace. I can take the brace off and put an actual stock on it because they, they do make a stock for the uh, uh, MCK. So that's the only deciding factor. But, you know, I'm not going to be super clear on what I would do. But that would be... One thing is if I send it off, I guess I could put a stock on it and not worry about, you know, getting caught with it. But at the same time, then if they don't have paperwork that says that that's what I own, then they will have paperwork that says that's what I own. So I don't know. It's just one of those things that that is, that's their options they're giving people. Or you can take the brace off and put a long barrel on, which obviously for things like the MCK, that doesn't really apply but for your AR pistols, things like that, it will. So I don't know. I don't know what all they, what their, I mean, I have a pretty good idea what their end goal idea is with this, but, but that doesn't matter. So that basically this video was the giveaway is still going on the first. I'm going to still do the drawing. And last time I checked, there was less than 40 people who have entered. So if you haven't entered, you have good odds. There's only... I think it was like 37 people. It might be up to 40 now. But yeah, not a ton of people have entered in it. So if you're interested in winning the MCK, definitely subscribe to the channel and go to that video that I have or any of my social uh, my social media in the description. Uh, you can click on their social media accounts and then somewhere along that, I will have a link that gets you entered into the giveaway. So if you haven't done that, definitely do so. But... That's what I got for you. That's kind of uh, what's going on with everything. That's why a lot of my videos have been sitting here in the car and not so much range time. After the first of the year, we ease up a ton and I will be back to rolling with reviews and checking out new products and everything like that. And I need to get a dot for the G3C. I need to get another pistol that I've been eyeballing if I can find it in stock when it comes around. But that's what I got. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. I'll catch y'all later.